Anger always caps in a, a causal emotion. However, it may not be exactly what you're thinking. For instance, I might be getting angry because I'm refusing to make a choice to do something different. And I want everyone around me to change and me to stay the same. So what's the causal there? The causal there is I want to control everyone around me. I want everyone around me to conform to what I want. Does that make sense? So the anger certainly always caps the causal emotion. But the causal emotion may not always be what you suspect it to be. And that's the thing, is if you allow yourself to experience the anger in a safe environment, like what Ian demonstrated, you know, with his anger kit, allow yourself to experience the anger in a safe environment, you will very, very rapidly get into the causal, if you really want it. The big conundrum we all face with regard to anger is this. The fact that anger exists within me means I'm already wanting to deny the causal. So I'll say that again. The fact that anger exists within me means I already want to deny the causal. So the thing that I need to start praying about, if that's the case if I'm getting angry all the time, is I really need to start praying about why I want to deny the underlying emotion. And it will always be something I'm afraid of. Guaranteed. Always be something you're afraid of.